We learn in school that our planet is unique, that Earth is an incredible place, home to amazing people and fascinating cultures. But we're also learning that our extraordinary home is in danger. We are all in danger. Now it's time to learn for our future, to act for our future. And that starts with all of us. But how? We need education that guides us towards a more peaceful world and an equitable society, helping us to build a more sustainable future. We have to transform education in order to empower learners with the knowledge, skills, values and attitudes that will help us respond to global challenges. This is where Education for Sustainable Development, or ESD, comes into the picture. ESD focuses on transformative pedagogy that enables all of us to become agents of change. ESD informs and inspires us to take care of our planet and humanity. UNESCO promotes this transformative power of education and rewards the outstanding projects from all over the world through the UNESCO Japan Prize on ESD. Let's take a look at some inspiring projects that demonstrate ESD. In West Africa, for example, World Vision Ghana is running a successful program called Unlock Literacy Project. The project has already been implemented in more than 200 schools and communities across five regions in Ghana. The Unlock Literacy Project is built upon mother tongue-based multilingual education, teaching kids to read. A holistic approach is used with a strong focus on critical thinking which is believed to be a core competency required for sustainability. Unlock Literacy Project organizes reading clubs that involve the whole community in the learning process. As a result of the project, the young learners can think critically about local issues and participate in solving them and motivates even more to learn. Omo timi akọ omo inu mu na se problem bi ba omo timi di omo adwen akika ho na omo bubo adwen akika ho na se na be ya omo solve sa problem because any sense The Unlock Literacy Project has benefited more than 1500 teachers and almost 60000 children. In Latin America we have another great project, the Kusi Kose Andean School and Naupanan Cultural Events in Peru. The school, which is a member of UNESCO's Associated Schools Network, ASPNet, was founded by a small group of parents in a remote village located in the sacred valley of the Incas. Kusi Kausai provides education rooted in Andean culture, tradition, and sustainability practices using elements of Waldorf pedagogy. Eh, nosotros lo que hacemos acá es justamente ese contacto, esa relación con la naturaleza y llegar a ser conscientes de ese pequeñito que cada uno necesita del otro. The main aim of the school is to preserve ancestral knowledge and protect the rights, values and livelihoods of indigenous peoples. For example, la permacultura yo empecé a sembrar solito en mi huerto. Y seguramente de acá de unos años cuando salga, cuando termine la escuela, voy a seguir haciéndolo. 
Their curriculum builds on experiential learning and hands-on activities with great emphasis on diversity, reciprocity, and mutual respect among all living beings. Um, viniendo de una cultura que desde tiempos ancestrales ha siempre elaborado sus proyectos culturales eh, en forma sostenible, eh, entendemos que la educación también tiene que estar dentro de ese marco. Lo sostenible es lo que realmente va a perdurar en el tiempo. The school uses indigenous music, dance, weaving, and gatherings to bring the community together, further empowering their cultural identity. No kake yache wasipi yapan yaches kaita wahua o masiku namo kompati. Y eso es lo que a mí me impacta, no, de la escuelita. Uh, siempre es muy uh, entrada y también respeta la cultura, la tradicional y nuestras plantas. Respeta también las decisiones que uno puede tener. Kusi Kausai hopes to serve as an educational model to inspire other communities and indigenous schools. In Southwest Asia, Palestine's Birzeit University Media Development Center has a special project, Media and Information Literacy for Sustainable Communities. Their program develops participant skills to analyze media critically, essential to promoting sustainable development and achieving social change. التربيه الاعلاميه هي مسؤوله من اجل خلق مجتمع مستدام تراعى فيه الاخلاقيات والمبادئ وتراعى فيه مصالح البيئه والاقتصاد والثقافه والسياسه بشكل يخدم الجميع. By learning about media literacy, the participants become more active citizens in their societies. أنا طلعت واحدة من الناس اللي بتمارس نوعا ما صحافة المواطن فعشان نتحرى الدقة ونكون واعيين لكتير تفاصيل مرات إحنا بنشاركها مع أصدقائنا لكتير تفاصيل مرات إحنا بنطلع وبنحكي عنها وخاصة اللي يعني Through practical learning, dialogue and cooperation the students develop a sense of ethical media and responsible journalism هنالك ضرورة ملحة للالتزام بالمعايير الأخلاقية في العمل الإعلامي على منصات التواصل الاجتماعي مع تطور وسائل التواصل الاجتماعي التي أصبحت اليوم هي مصدرا للأخبار للعديد من المواطنين. Thousands have benefited from this program to date. طبيعي إنه راح يكون في هناك استفادة كبيرة على مستوى الشخصي بالوصول وتدريب أكبر عدد ممكن من الشباب الفلسطيني المهتم بالقضايا الإعلامية خصوصا في الأماكن المهمشة في فلسطين في الضفة الغربية مثلا من خلال المخيمات الناس الأقل حظا النساء هاي الناس اللي إحنا اليوم فعلا من خلال التدريب اللي أخذناه صار في عنا خبرة بالتعامل معهم بطرح قضاياهم كيف ممكن إن ندربهم إن يكونوا ناشطين في المجتمع the program has directly trained 3,500 people and reached 64,000 people throughout Palestine. These examples of ESD are advancing the community's sustainable development, while also inspiring many other projects all around the world. Wherever you are, whatever you do, you can also play an important role in ESD. You can teach, promote, and support ESD. Because we all need education for sustainable development, for a just, peaceful, and sustainable world. <laughs>